What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and I don't know for sure, but hopefully, we're gonna be getting two new zebra loaches for the hexagon tank, which is this tank right here. This tank is basically like my little community tank with a whole bunch of Tetras and uh, the one little Corbendus and the two Electric Blue Jack Dempseys. Uh, but we don't have any bottom cleaners in there. We have all these, you know, really colorful fish, but nothing to kind of help clean up the bottom. And I have Plecos, Cory Cats, a Chinese Algae Eater, and Otis Sinkless. But the one bottom cleaner that I don't have right now is some type of loach. So I thought two little zebra loaches would be two great fish to mix in with all these other fish and also to kind of help keep the tank pretty clean. So hopefully they came in this week. I'm not for sure. I'm actually about to head on over to the fish row that I work at right now. And uh, I'll find out once I get there if they came in or not this week. If they didn't, that's fine. Uh, but hopefully they did. Now, a quick little update on our two little baby frontosas. These guys are looking and doing great. I mean, they just picked pick out when it comes to feeding time and uh, we might feed these guys a little later on in the video but they are both looking great so with that being said i'm going to head on over to the fish store right now and uh, i will see you guys in a few hours Check it out, we actually did get the two little zebra loaches in, but they're super tiny, a lot smaller than I thought they would be. You can see them right in there, and I mean, they are small, but they've got some decent color to them, and uh, they're pretty cool. Like, my that's a little baby peacock bass right there, but we're not going to put these guys straight into the octagon tank, or hexagon tank, I should say, because I'm a little worried about the electric blue jack Dempsey possibly trying to eat them. So we're going to put these guys probably in the new 10-gallon guppy tank, try to get a little size on them, and then put them into uh, the hexagon tank. So I'm now back, and uh, I think actually what I'm going to do is actually put them in the Endler tank for the time being. Not for very long, because I want to get them in the Hexagon tank as soon as I can, but I'm just a little weary of putting them in there right now, because like I said, the bigger Electric Blue Jack Dempsey, he has eaten fish before. He's not an aggressive fish or nothing, but if he sees a fish that he thinks he can eat, believe me, he's going to try. I was thinking about putting them in the newest Guppy tank, but it's only been set up for a few days, even though the uh, Eco Complete substrate along the bottom had live bacteria in it. Uh, I still want to let this tank cycle for a little bit longer before I put any fish in there. So I think for the time being, I'm just going to put them in this Guppy tank, uh, but yeah, you can probably get a better look at them now. And uh, they're, they're pretty cool, but, you know, I was not expecting them to be this tiny. Uh, but you never really know what you're going to get when you order fish. But I think it'll be pretty cool having these guys in here for at least a little while, along with the two little panda quarries. And, you know, I'm really just trying to fatten these guys up a little bit, maybe get like a half an inch to an inch on them, and then go ahead and put them in the hexagon tank. There's one of the little panda quarries right there, but all the guppies and antlers are all doing really, really good. And, by the way, these guys are going to pose no threat whatsoever to the babies. And uh, you can see the babies there. They're pretty curious of them. So I'm going to let those guys finish up acclimating. And while they acclimate, quick update on the Gar and the Jack Dempsey. They're doing great. The Gar is super fat right now. Fed him a good bit of shrimp last night. And he is uh, fat and happy. Here within about two weeks, we're going to be moving this guy back outside into the exotic pond. And by the way, if you haven't watched the last video, go check it out where we kind of remodeled and, you know, really just set back up the exotic pond made it look a lot nicer. Back over here to the tank that those zebra loaches were supposed to go in. So it's that guy right there. Not really the smaller one. Not that guy, but more or less the bigger guy that I'm kind of worried about, you know, him trying to eat those zebra loaches. Uh, I had three emperor tetras. There's one of them right there, and he actually ate the smallest one. And uh, I'm pretty shocked that both of those are still in here. So I didn't want to take any chances with that guy, you know, possibly eating them. It's been about 15 minutes now, and our two little zebra loaches are now ready to go into the tank. All right, I've got both of them right here in the net. 
And there they go. They're now into the tank. And as you can see, they're tiny. I mean, they are literally probably the size of those panda quarries, and they are not big at all themselves. So for the time being, they're just going to chill in here with the quarries and the guppies and the endlers, and uh, I think they'll do great in here. And I have no idea where the other guy went, but I'm going to give these guys, you know, a little time to settle into the tank and kind of get used to everything, and uh, I'll give you guys an update on them in a few days when they're, you know, out and about. So it's been about three days now since I got the two little zebra loaches, and uh, they've started to come out a lot more. I don't see one as much as I do the other one, but right there is actually one of them, and I've noticed that he kind of likes to chill with the panda quarries. Like I said, the other one doesn't come out quite as much, uh, but they've definitely, you know, really colored up a lot more now that they've been in the tank for a few days. But yeah, check that little, check that guy out. Those are some pretty cool little fish right there. So uh, we're going to leave these guys in here probably for about a month or so. Hopefully and within that time frame we can get a little size on them. And then once these guys get to a size to where I don't think the Jack Dempsey would try to eat them, then we'll go and move both of them over here into the hexagon tank. Now I'm also thinking about adding one other species of tetra to the tank. I'm not sure exactly what kind uh, or barb. I don't really care which one. But I want to add three or four other more colorful little fish in here. And that will pretty much complete the tank. You know we have a few Colombian tetras, some black skirt tetras the emperor tetras the red eye tetras uh what else do we have we have one glow tetra uh, and one little pearl danio so if you guys have any good suggestions as to any other kind of tetras or barbs that you think i should add to this tank then feel free to comment them down below quick little update on the pike uh, he's doing great he's pretty fat right now i just fed him two pieces of shrimp earlier uh but him and uh, the lemon cichlid and the two cinnadonis they've been they've been living life in this 55 gallon tank all four of those fish have had this tank to themselves uh, for the past you know month or so now and I actually had several other cichlids in there that I was raising up then when my friends got a tank and I went ahead and gave all the cichlids to him except for the little lemon cichlid and uh, he's doing great by the way but I'm thinking about adding some more African and peacock cichlids in here so uh, let me know any specific peacocks or Africans that you think I should add back in here of course they're gonna be pretty decent size like if you guys remember the peacocks that I showed earlier in the video in the montage of some of the ones at the store it'll be about that size I have to get them that size now because if I get them any smaller the pike cichlid will of course try to eat them but the same thing with the hexagon tank if you guys have any africans or peacocks in mind that you think would look good in here then let me know that's gonna pretty much do it though i hope you guys did enjoy today's video and if you did don't forget to drop a like down below hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and uh we're getting some pretty cool itty bitty things in the next video i think you guys are gonna really really like them so stay tuned and with that being said you guys i'll catch you guys in the next video peace